Let's go for a little photo shoot today. All I'm taking is the D200 and the 18 to 200 DX lens. Let's just have some fun. It's 36 degrees and I'm out in Trenton. I'm down here at the train depot, which is a pseudo iconic landmark in Trenton. I'm gonna move over to this side, get the sun out of the frame. I wanna try and get a picture of it and somehow get a nice high contrast image. And with the sun shining directly on it, I should be able to get that. Of course, the railroad doesn't go up beside the building anymore for some reason. I don't know if they moved the rail or if they moved the building, but it still has the, it still has the mail carrier hook. You know, the little stand on the front of the building where the mailman would hand off the bag of mail as the train went by. Let's get some photos of this. Something I never understood about this is they wanted to use the building for something constructive. So what they did was they turned it into the welcome center. But it's about as far from the main road in Trenton as you can get and still be in a town. So <laughs> this is kind of an odd idea, but yeah, it's the welcome center. Here it is from the other side. Okay. I'm not gonna do a lot of dialogue outside because it's daggum cold. I think it said it's 36 now, but the wind's blowing, so it's pumping it down into the 20s, I'm sure. It stings to be out there. <laughs> All that aside, let's go look at something else in Trenton that might be interesting. And this is the Trenton Industrial Park. <laughs> the only reason I mention it is because we have Bull Moose. It's a pretty interesting logo on the building. I left the truck running this time to leave the heater on. There's several businesses, been here a long time, but Bull Moose was kind of the anchor. I believe they were the first factory to set up shop in this industrial park. But it's just got a cool logo on the building. I'm gonna try to get it into some sort of a environmental photograph just to kind of capture it for posterity, you might say. seeing today is the new tripod company uh, flippy tripod whatever it's called Peter McKinnon has dropped his video on it and then I seen another youtuber had his video drop on it today it was in my feed I, it may have linked it only because it was the same device but that's two in one day of the same product and it just come out of nowhere it's a really neat looking little tripod idea it's just not adjustable see I use the Manfrotto I think it's called a pixie that's what the GoPro's mounted on currently. I've got it adapted with an Arca Swiss base so I can move cameras back and forth between it real easy. It also just has a quarter 20 stud, so if I don't have an Arca Swiss plate on something, I can just screw it straight on. But I like it because it has adjustable leg and it's a tripod and it has a ball head. <laughs> Two each is on. All right, got a shot of the moose. I'm in the old Trenton Spinning Mills parking lot. And I'm gonna get a picture of their sign. It's been closed down for years. Somebody's opened the gate today and hopefully I'll get my picture before they decide to close it and trap me in here. I just now realized that. Let me get that done. I got my photo. I wanted a picture of the sign, the old sign of the mill before they bought, it got bought out by Shaw Industries. All right, I'm outside the gate. Whew. They ain't got me now. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. I'll give you a drive-by of it here in a second. It's a carpet yarn mill that got bought by a company called Shaw Industries 10, 15 years ago. And then they closed it down, took all the machines and used them for like repla replacement parts for other mills. They just took all the machines and dismantled them and made spare parts because they were vintage. Now the building's been vacant for probably a decade. And they've been trying to sell it, but nobody's got this kind of money. It's an enormous building. It's hundreds of thousands of square feet. It's just a huge factory. But anyway, I got my picture of it. Well, here I am at the railroad viaduct, which is nothing more. Let me roll down my window on the other side so I can show you. Which is nothing more than a bridge over the railroad. 
What I would like to do would be to get a photograph of a train passing underneath while standing on this bridge. But the train's not here right now. This is the main north-south rail between Chattanooga and Birmingham. So the train passes through here pretty regular, big freight trains. And it's prone to come through at any time. I wonder if there's an app for that. Hmm. Since I don't know when the train's coming, I guess I'll come back later and try something different. But until then, let's go find something to take a picture of. I did just look at the updates. I always like looking at what the YouTube update says. This one says fixed bugs, improved performance, took out the garbage, mowed the front lawn, and now we need a little nap. That's what the YouTube update has. <laughs> I always love reading their app. Guess what? Here comes the train. <laughs> Remember that train I was looking for earlier? Here it is. Might have just got my picture. Let's see. Oh, look, the cloud moved in to, dis to diffuse the light right after I took my photo. This is a pretty good freight train. It's still going. There's a midline engine in the middle of it. Yeah, it's a big train. All right, let's see what I got on here. That was pretty cool. Pulled up to the railroad crossing and the lights started blinking. And I wondered if the semi across the road, across the tracks over there had might have tripped it or something. Look back and forth, didn't see nothing. Look one more time and I could see the lights of the train down on the left. <laughs> yeah, wish I'd have seen it coming for that viaduct shot. That'd have been a lot cooler. But this is a pretty good photo. So at least I did get something kind of interesting. I kind of like the Bull Moose logo photo too. It's okay. It would have been better if there had been a person in the frame though. You never know what you're going to find until you get out and just take some pictures. Just get your camera out and go out there and do something. Because if you don't get your camera out, you're guaranteed to not get the shot. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And if you like the video, I like the thumbs up. You know that. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.